Greg Doucet just came out with another cookbook. This time, the Anabolic Cookbook 3.0. And it's set at the low, low price of $199. So today, I wanted to take you through four different recipes from breakfast to dessert and let you know if the recipes are gas or ass and if you should even be considering buying the cookbook. Let's get into it. I was incorrect about the cookbook. It's actually 149. So for the rest of the video, I will be calling it Cream 49. What would a Greg Doucette breakfast be without French toast? But this time, it's the French toast rice cake. I am a little bit nervous about this for a couple of reasons. One, it is using chocolate protein powder. This is called regular French toast. I've never had regular French toast that is chocolate flavored. We also don't have cinnamon, which cinnamon is just like, Basic bitch French toast should be in every French toast. I'm sorry. I feel like this is just gonna be like chocolate rice cake. Like apple poop. Greg should officially change the name. This is a perfect meal because it is just over 300 calories. That looks like brain. Yeah, I love getting that brain. <laughs> Well, it doesn't look the most appetizing, but as we all know in the anabolic world, that really doesn't matter. What matters is how it tastes. Today, we have a very special guest to help me try these recipes. He was here for the whole anabolic experience over the last few years, and that is Iron Musket. What's good, guys? It's your boy, Iron Musket. I think we should try these without syrup. At first. That's unfair to Greg, don't you think? Why? Does he say... My French toast is good without... Excuse me. I want that wet one. I bet. Now keep in mind, this is called French toast. Rice cake. <laughs> what are you saying? <laughs> I'm um, saying that it should taste like French toast. <laughs> I'm surprised I'm actually liking the rice cake. Because like I don't like rice cakes. I think it needs a little salt. The flavor is not really there. And I just don't think you can call something, if it was like chocolate French toast, like chocolate rice cake French toast. Oh, that it's would, not? That would make a lot more sense. Oh, I actually assumed it was chocolate French toast. <gasps> Excuse me. I don't think I would assume that was a rice cake. Like if you fed it to me, I would just be like, what bread is that? It looks odd. I would think it's almost like one of those grain breads that has like seven different seeds in it. I think it's better with syrup just because I like everything sweeter. Walden Farms don't even get me started on Walden Farms, dude. You don't like Walden Farms, bro? Dude, it's like literally like gasoline. <laughs> <laughs> so it's gas is what you're saying? No, no, not that gas type of gas. gas. <laughs> I would give it like a seven. A seven is average to me. Now, the fact that it's chocolate mm -hmm. and it's called French toast, I always dock points for when like something I review doesn't taste like the flavor that it's supposed to be. Oh, I went into this thing and it's French toast. So I would probably rate this like a 5.8 because I would be like, whoa, what if I don't like chocolate and I make this? <laughs> but for how easy it is and how like little ingredients there are, I think this is a very good recipe, especially for how low calorie it is. 365 calories and one, <laughs> one fat. <laughs> One? Oh, point 0.8 fat. <laughs> what did you think? <sighs> See, I don't think a seven is average. Five is average, because that's like how the YouTube ranking system works. So I just go off that. I go off IMDB because I watch so many movies. <laughs> if we're talking five is average, I would put this at a... <sighs> I don't like to do the point fives. I don't like to do the point fives. I don't like the point ones. No. <laughs> A six. A six. It's a nice six. Like nobody wants to be rated a six. Like you go up to like a hundred girls and they're like, you're a six. Everybody would be like walking home like this, but like this six tastes like, like good, like better than. <laughs> so do you not dock points for it not like tasting like the name of the meal? 
Oh yeah, I don't, I don't dock for that, unfortunately. If it produces a flavor in my mouth that I'm like, nice, that's all I want in a food, to be honest. So pretty much average for me, above average for him. And uh... not like way above average, take it easy. I would just say like a notch above average. <laughs> Okay, just the He's like, it's massively above average, the likes of which we've never seen. I'm more excited for lunch. What's lunch? It involves cheese and noodles. Oh, no way. And cream's hard. Insert mid-roll right now. And I love cream. <laughs> You're ahead of us. <laughs> meal number two we have rich and creamy macaroni and the great thing about this is about four or five months ago I made a one pot stovetop macaroni that is very similar in macros to this macaroni so it's going to be interesting to see the differences in taste and flavor between the two how difficult each one is and then obviously what iron musket thinks of it as well It does seem like there are a lot of ingredients in this recipe. However, almost all this stuff you're probably gonna have in your house besides nutritional yeast, which I actually had to order myself. And then I had these shirataki noodles that are already shaped like macaroni. One error I saw right out of the gate is that it says to add the Parmesan and cheddar to the milk once it starts boiling and on the ingredient list there's no cheddar so i wanted to make sure that i didn't make it wrong so i texted greg and greg texted me right back and told me yes it is wrong there should be cheddar in there and not fat-free cheddar he said he's using fat-free slices so i'm gonna get two slices of Velveeta and use those instead of the fat-free cheddar another thing i noticed on here is that it says four tablespoons of Parmesan or 15 grams and one tablespoon is usually about 15 grams. So I don't know how four tablespoons would be 15 grams, but that's just something that he can go back and update. Even though I was heating this up slow, some of this started to stick to the bottom. Now I won't deduct any points for these things that stick at the bottom. It's not even burnt, it's just kind of like, I don't even know how to describe it, to be honest. But let's get our noodles going. <laughs> this is probably the most interesting looking cheese sauce I've ever made. Oh my God, my whisk is in there. Difficulty easy, would you say? Because I feel like it took you longer to do this than the rice cake. I'm not mad about it. I'm pretty mad about it. I'm pissed. <laughs> Dude, this looks hot as balls, dude. Is it, is it not? Okay. Mm -mm. Oh, I like this. Yeah, it's good. For sure. The regular noodles do a pretty good job of masking the cognac noodles that are more like rubbery and chewy. Wait, so is the cognac noodle that little onion it feels like I'm biting into? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I, I actually thought you grilled some onions and put them in here, so. <laughs> I think this is pretty fair to compare to my 15 minute stovetop mac because it's about the same calories and it's literally like within three grams of each other for protein. This tastes more like, almost like, I feel like barbecue mac. I agree with you there, yeah. Um, it reminds me of those chips you have. You want to show them Yes. Quick? The fact that this has similar calories to regular mac and cheese, I would personally probably just want a regular mac and cheese mm -hmm. as long as the protein is comparable. You would be getting like obviously less fiber because the cognac noodles are straight fiber. And Who the heck is eating mac and cheese for the fiber though? All right. <laughs> I would give this eight, a 7.6 out of 10. You're such a. <laughs> which is probably more like an eight on your scale. You're an actual wiener, bro. No, I'm not. <laughs> A nine point six point nine three decimal repeating. I just think it's hacky to be like point anything. I think no. you need to pick a side. Like it's either no. an eight or a seven, not an eight point no. three four. No, because some sevens are not equal sevens. What if you would like this one better? But it's not a seven. It's what a if six? Okay, listen, Nick, you're wrong. Okay, <laughs> plain and simple. The fact that you said your average is seven. That's when I knew your scale was whack. They're used to this abomination of a rating system? Yeah. Okay, well. 
I'm Italian and a great dish that all Italians love is lasagna. And people have asked me over and over and over again to make this recipe and try it out and let you guys know what I think before you guys invest in things like palmini lasagna sheets. This is nice. This is one of the first recipes I've ever made by Greg where you actually cut up some fresh vegetables. Okay, as we all know, there's no rules in the kitchen. And uh, Greg doesn't use any oil whatsoever to make the sauteed onions and garlic. And I think that's just a must because five grams is like 45 calories, goes a long way for flavor. These onions are starting to take on some color. We'll get the garlic pressed in right into the same pan. We're gonna cook our ground beef. The last thing I gotta do is blend up some cottage cheese. And if you've seen my latest video about cottage cheese, you would know I'm not too fond of it at the moment. Oh God, this is gonna not work. <laughs> By the way, he calls for ground turkey, which I don't understand because 93% is gonna be the same 93% calories for ground beef. And ground beef is what really should be in lasagna. He says to drain the meat, I ain't draining the meat. Has fat, has flavor, and I don't have any more colanders to put this in and to drain it because I already have a colander for the goddamn linguine palmini. It's also weird that he says to drain the meat, but then we add 60 grams of water to it. Make sense? Not to me. <laughs> God damn. They be hitting right. We now have our own homemade, homemade meat sauces or Sunday gravy or thick, thick marinara. Cream, do you need a shit in your pants? Tell me. Tell me. What? 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 Tell me, do you need a shit? You have to shit in your pants? Mmm, zucchini and cottage cheese. You did, in fact, have to shit his pants. <laughs> did you lock our door right now? Because they're about to come murder us. They <laughs> murdered while buying Ricky Shit's <laughs> I will tell you right now, I will not do that blasphemy that Greg does in this cookbook and puts fat free slices on top of the lasagna. That is just absolute insanity. Italians go crazy. Wow, so we're gonna eat that whole thing tonight. Hell no. Total time to get this prep to go in was an hour. We're gonna make this and I'll see you back for the taste test. We have a finished, I guess, lasagna. Uh, it looks very interesting to me, just being from an Italian background. But you know, again, looks aren't everything. Taste is what's gonna matter. I will say these are fat ass slices mm -hmm. for the calories. So I'm very happy about that. Now, I haven't had lasagna in a minute, but oh my is God. it normal for lasagna to kind of look like Velveeta on top? Like, does it always kind of look like scrunch cheese? No, it doesn't. Let's see how watery this is on the bottom. Yeah, I'm about to get you a spoon, because ain't no way. Maybe the first batch was like super dry. And he was like, oh, water. Water. <laughs> <laughs> it's weird, I get like, a bite of regular lasagna, and then I bite again, and then it tastes like vegetables. Uh oh. And then I get a bite again, and it tastes like meat sauce, like lasagna. <laughs> I'll say that the zucchini is not that noticeable of a flavor, so that's good. I can't tell that there's cottage cheese in this. The spinach is very, very light on taste, so it like works in perfectly. I do wish there was Parmesan. I think it'll definitely help no matter what. Parmesan's got that umami flavor. Umami. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> this is a really great dish 
when you're trying to just hide vegetables in your diet. But like we were saying, the amount of dishes that you have to do is pretty big. How much is it per slice? 347. Okay. 40 protein. That's good. I'm not gonna knock points off this, but those noodles, two of those packs cost like 12 bucks. It's better than the cognac noodles, I'll tell you that. I, <laughs> you can't use them in the same way, mm -hmm. but in my opinion, definitely better. Does he want some? Of course he wants some. How was this shit? Was it, was it solid? Uh, no, all of it's been mushy. Like, was it, did it start out solid? Why are we talking about this at dinner? <laughs> No, it was like it was like poop. It was like regular poop. Just regular poop. <laughs> All right, what did I rate the thing? I rated it like a seven point four. Right? The Mac? Yeah. I don't keep track of fake ratings, so. All right, fuck off. <laughs> I think it's excellent. I'm gonna give this like an eight point four. That's good. Yeah, it's very good. I would give it a seven. Dessert. Yeah, I guess it's this, but with syrup. You're a sick f <laughs> What is a day without dessert? And I have been waiting forever to be trying Greg's Boston Cream Donuts. Why you ask? Because Boston Creams are probably my favorite donut of all time. P science code E4CM will save you 10% off. Greg. You'll have to update this, because in step two, I'm pretty sure the low calorie syrup is supposed to be added to the bowl, which I did add, but it's not on the list of things on step number two. I'm gonna make two of these with the 50 calorie buns, and two of these with the 100 calorie buns, and we'll see how big of a difference it makes. Hell yeah. Let's go, hell yeah. Let's go, hell yeah. Get to touch all these buns all day. Yeah. What a fucking treat. There's no way this holds all this filling. <laughs> yeah, Greg, way too much filling. I have so much more filling. And I can't close these bitches because I filled them too much. <laughs> too much filling, Gregory. Gregory. All right, messy as shit. The ratios are way off. Dude, if we finish this video and it's mid, I'm gonna have nightmares today. What, you wanna go get Dairy Queen? <laughs> I'll actually eat Dairy Queen. Is it actually good? Are you actually dumb? I eat Dairy Queen, I just <laughs> All right, the buns are brown, but also all of the creams have creamed themselves. <laughs> um, I am pretty happy about it, but I'm gonna let these cool and we will be back very soon. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so with our 50 calorie buns, we're going to dip these in chocolate. All I did was melt some mini chocolate chips. Oh, I can't grab it. I can't grab it. Oh. Need some it was really good in, uh, in theory. <laughs> it's still just a little bit warm, but that's how I would like my Boston cream, fresh off the presses. It tastes exactly how I thought it would taste. Because of the protein powder. Is that good or bad thing? Oh, the chocolate makes it way better. <laughs> <laughs> With the chocolate, it was better. Because every Boston cream, <laughs> every Boston cream has chocolate on top. Mm -hmm. So he made more of a Bavarian cream, but called it a Boston cream. So to me, it still doesn't taste like Bavarian cream, but at least it mimics it with the powdered sugar being on top and <laughs> the filling. I'll say when I had the powdered sugar down there, the reason I used that in my mint ice cream back when I was doing the ice creams was because it naturally tastes cold, even though it can be at room temperature. And so when I had it on the donut, it tasted cold. Instantly when I took the bite, it was like, 
diet food. I would rather eat the 50 calorie donut and have the chocolate on top for the essentially the same calories, probably within 10 or 15 calories, mm -hmm. than have the 110 calorie bun. You're such an attention whore. <laughs> you could tell if I eat the bun by itself, it's a 50 calorie bun, but with all that shit, I couldn't tell. What's the rating, man? That's the best thing I had all day. I love dessert, though. Well, the way you were going on about it, I thought you were about to give it like a four or something. You're like, oh, it's not a Boston cream. No, it's not. So it's going to get marked down for that. So what's it going to be? But it tasted really good. Is it like a 9.367910? That would be like the highest rating I ever did. Hell no. <laughs> not even close. Man, I just love desserts too. So I would probably give that like a 7.7 .7 out of 10. Well, I'm going to go with an eight. The macros were on point for my daily total, and this includes having protein bar and another half of a protein bar. 2,400 calories, 188 protein, 350 carb, and 41 fat. For me, you get 60 extra recipes, and it costs cream 49 more. You do get 50% off, but it's still $100 more. I'm in between. Like, would you buy it for cream $49 if you were a first time purchaser? You remember my reaction when you said it was 60 additional recipes to pre-existing ones. I was just like, wait, what? So, I don't know. But I guess if you're a first time viewer, you don't really care about that. Yeah, I, I think there's almost a barrier to be broken at some point. Because when the 2.0 came out, I had no problem spending 150. Mm. Um, but there was like 80 more or something like that recipes. Mm -hmm. Cream 49, and if you're a first time buyer, is pretty like, oh shit. <laughs> the cream 49 helps you lose 40 or 50 pounds and get to your goal weight, then like. I mean, it's, it's definitely worth it. It's worth it, but yeah. I also think like paying a heavier amount will increase your likelihood of s sticking to it. So it's like the more pain it causes to your wallet, the more you're like, oh, okay, I gotta open the cookbook today. But that doesn't mean make your cookbooks like two grand or something. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did you pour like 40 milligrams of weed in the mix or something? Nah, dude. You're so chilled out. Yeah, bro, it's two in the morning now. That is true. Oh my gosh. It's been a long day. Yeah. Uh, any closing thoughts? Yeah, are we still going to the gym? No. <laughs> Hell no. So I will leave the decision up to you guys. Do you want to pay cream $49 for Greg's cookbook? Or do you want to buy mine for $99? code E4CM to get 10% off mine. Either way, they will help you lose weight, they will taste good, and you most likely <laughs> won't regret it. <laughs> most likely. <laughs> and if you do want a better mac and cheese recipe, in my opinion at least, you should check out my two 15 minute one pot stovetop recipes by clicking here. Until next time. Deuces.